Hi everybody, Lee Russell here. It's the 24th of July 2019 and very hot here in the UK. I'm fortunate enough tonight to be uh, in a hotel room. I'm away for a couple of days uh, on business for my day job and uh, that does mean that while the heat wave is happening, uh, fortunately the writing of my stories can carry on in a lovely air-conditioned room, which is fantastic. Um, I was privileged um, a, just over a week ago now to get 90 minutes, 9-0, 90, 90 minutes of feedback in a writer's group that I'm in on the plot that I have constructed for book two in my Lissa Blackwood conspiracy thriller trilogy. And uh, that was a privilege. I um, very much value everything uh, that everybody said. And um, actually the plot was well received, which uh, was very pleasing. Otherwise I would need to start again. Uh, one of the things that surprised me during that talk to the group uh, was that people are actually really interested in the character arc, the journey that uh, the character Lissa Blackwood herself goes through. And uh, even with a short description um, of book one and, and what's happening in two, uh, uh, my peers, my fellow writers, were working out that Lissa Blackwood is a very flawed character. She's a damaged character to an extent sociopathic, um, not psychopathic, but does not feel um, uneasy about killing at the moment. And uh, in the context of the books, uh, my peers were very interested to know how is this character going to change? And it was an insightful question because although I had a great awareness of what I want to do with Lissa Blackwood in the plot arc of these three um, conspiracy thriller stories, uh, I had not properly considered Lissa Blackwood's own journey as an individual and as a character. And it, it took about a week for that feedback to percolate uh, in my mind. And then last night, uh, the thought did drop into place about what is it that fundamentally is um, Lissa Blackwood's situation her personal situation, her psyche, what is that when the stories start, why, how and why is that event and those things shaping how she's behaving today, and then to ask that question, what does she want? Does she want to stay like that? Does she want to evolve? What's her pain? How is she going to overcome her pain? And last night, the answer to those questions fell into place, and I've got well, I'm now enjoying, as I think, quite a delicious little story arc and character development arc uh, for Lissa Blackwood as well. So, so that was fun. And I'm looking forward, in fact, to uh, retrofitting um, those thoughts into um, the, the draft manuscript for book one and making sure, of course, that um, book two is now written with, with that development uh, in mind and bringing it to a conclusion. So um, very pleased with that. Uh, I've also been um, writing out the character sheets that I need for the new characters that I'm introducing into book two. And uh, in book two, um, Malocchio's mother appears. So, uh, spoiler zone, I suppose. Uh, Malocchio, evil eye, does not survive book one. Um, but his mother has. And uh, so she's having a role. Um, a, uh, a new female character associated with that family, let's keep it mysterious, has appeared. Um, someone who was a protagonist in book one has now flipped sides. They're now an antagonist. Uh, it was a minor character in book one and they're now a major character in book two. So I'm scoping them out as well. And uh, I have an assassin to write a sheet for I have a hacker to write a sheet for, a computer hacker. So I'm really enjoying that. I am a plotter, as you might have gathered. So I'm a plotter in the way that I write. The uh, plot, the sequence of events for book two is ready to go. The retrofit of Lissa Blackwood's um, character arc is ready to drop into place. That's easy to do and I'm really comfortable with that. And I just now need these final character sheets to fall into place and then the proper writing can start, so I'm pleased. The other thing that I've been working on uh, is uh, I got some unexpected feedback about this book, uh, Dead Snow. This was the second novel uh, that I self-published onto Amazon and one of my peers said to me, in summary, Lee, it's not a very good book. 
Uh, it's got a lot of errors in it. And quite frankly, if I did not know you, I would not have finished reading it. And I kind of thought that's you know very um, good and honest feedback um, to receive. Um, it's a little bit at odds with some of the reviews that I've had for the book, but it also squares up with a comment that another one of my close friends made uh, who has read it, who actually asked me the question, Lee, did you have this book edited? Uh, to which my answer was no, I self-edited as best I could. Um, so I, I did take a moment to consider um, this feedback on this book, Dead Snow, which I've started editing again because what I've noticed, and you'll just see there's a load of red pen in here as I go through. So I've been making my notes directly into my copy. And actually, I'm not actually finding that many errors per se in the first so far 50 pages of the book. Um, but what I have found is moments where my writing style now two years later uh, has um, uh, improved considerably. You know, my control of sentence structure and chapter structure and tension and uh, the way that I will um, express, th express things uh, through um, show not tell uh, is much better today. So I'm actually now enjoying in fact re-editing that book and being able to drop into place the things which I've subsequently learned as a writer. And the reflection which I wanted to share here though is uh, I don't feel bad at all about releasing that book on Amazon. So um, two years ago that book was the best that I could do and it was ready to fly at that point. And uh, it's been a great experiment producing it. Uh, I enjoyed writing it. I enjoyed going on the journey to produce it for Kindle. Uh, I enjoyed the process of um, creating the physical form, creating the paperback. Uh, and all of this is learning. And I, I'm a strong believer in the entrepreneurial approach to learning, which is you know, try fast, fail fast and cheap, learn, get it better next time. And I think without trying, without having the experiences of producing Dead Snow in the earlier book and End of Beginnings, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, as a, a pretty confident, in fact, uh, and fairly articulate writer. So I'm really confident that um, for my Lisa Blackwood trilogy, uh, the, the books as they come out will fundamentally uh, be uh, stronger and uh, much more in the professional style, uh, which is not to say that these are unprofessional, but um, the, the next three will be more so in the professional style that readers are expecting and I think it's only right um, to serve uh, that kind of story uh, to the right audience so I'm looking forward to being on that journey and I'm guessing it's just over a week's time now probably and um, that proper creative writing is going to start and uh, all I can say is bring it on because I love it that's all for now thanks a lot bye bye